Hi everyone, this is Sanan from Car Inspected and uh, today we're at a local uh, Kia dealership on the plateau, actually near the plateau in Montreal. And we're taking a look at this 2009 Acura CSX. Car is a little dirty. Uh, you can see from the rear windshield on the roof. I was skeptical honestly when I first arrived at the car. I was looking at it from far. I'm like why would the Acura be at a Kia dealership? Uh, number one, number two the color didn't perfectly match but then as I got closer I was able to see that it was dirty just to give you an idea and then so the car is dirty there is a 3M tape uh, that's been applied to the front and both fenders Manufacturing date, there's a little ding here. Manufacturing date is uh, September 2008, making it a 2009 model. The mileage is 137,000 kilometers. The car comes with one key as far as I know. Please verify if, if a second key is available. The car has been rust proofed 13, 14, 15. And the stickers uh, have a, a matching VIN all around. So, You can see the interior is in pretty good shape as well. Folding seats work. Center armrest in the rear. As I said, I was skeptical at the beginning, but um, upon a closer inspection, the car seems to be in a really, really good shape for the age and the mileage. The, I have some comments, though the tires are some Chinese brand, um, they have 7.30 seconds left on the tread depth, but yeah, um, I haven't taken the car for a test drive yet, but I'm assuming these are going to be making uh, road noise, uh, rolling resistance noise, and now I'm just going to flip the image so I can show you the... Um, thickness of the brake pad remaining in the front as you can see it's very low so what I'm looking at is the distance there between where my finger tip is and the rotor that's the brake pad remaining rotors are a little rusty but uh, not too bad the car has been parked for a while so I'd understand another comment well the rear brakes are more than 50% remaining. Again, I'm looking at the same, the same distance between the tip of my finger and the rotor. And the rear rotors are a little rusty as well, but uh, they seem to be in good shape otherwise. I found a lock on all the wheels, but I did not find the key. The key for the lock. So, I was hoping to find it here, but I wasn't able to. So please verify because that is an expensive, um, an unnecessary expense that you would need to do when it comes time to um, replace from summer to winter tires. Hopefully you won't have a flat, so you won't need it anytime soon, but I would discuss with the dealer, there is a way to remove them. 
and just put rear, uh, regular lug nuts like these instead of that. Passenger side, all looks clean. And the passenger side front, everything looks good. The, the leather on the seats is very good as well. I'm just gonna pause the video a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back to filming. Sorry about that. So I kept the lights on just to show you some imperfections that I, I had. So there is paint coming off on the front bumper. This is plastic, so it's nothing to worry about. This is foggy. I would, I'd recommend taking care of this one as soon as possible on both the headlights. Uh, it's not unusual. It's uh, it, it, it is repairable. Let's just put it that way. So different spots, dirty, but undercarriage overall undercarriage condition is is good. No leaks that I can see. All panels are there. And then in the rear, just to show the uh, the muffler and the exhaust system. We did a computer scan of the engine, transmission, airbag, and ABS systems. Everything checked out. Sunroof. Very smooth operation. Windows. Front. Smooth. And then in the rear, both sides operating as expected. Horn works, radio works, user manual is there. We'll check the mirrors during the test drive. I think this tire is a tiny bit low. Please get it verified. So I was told that uh, by the dealer that the that their inspection has not yet been done. So I'm hoping that they'll get around to do the um, the front brakes. Engine is idling smooth. This, these drops uh, were when I was testing the coolant freezing temperature and that was uh, my fault, it dropped, up, it dropped a little bit. So I checked the transmission, fluid, I checked the engine oil as well for quality and it passed. The fan belt, the accessory belt is, is a pass as well. I checked the air filter and the brake fluid humidity content and the relay box. Everything is good. Uh, everything checks out. Uh, I checked the air conditioning as well, so let's uh, take a quick look at that. The air conditioning works. There it is. It came on with the uh, with the fans activated as well. It's 
So in the center of the picture is the uh, AC compressor um, pulley. You'll see it; it'll it'll engage and disengage um, as it regulates the temperature of the refrigerant of the coolant. That is normal operation. Windshield is original. I checked all of the windows so far and everything seems to be in uh, uh, good shape. Doing a final walk around before we take the car for a test drive. Well, this has been uh, Sinan from Car Inspected, and uh, that was a pre purchase inspection on this Acura CSX in the uh, island of Montreal at a local Kia dealership. So please subscribe and uh, like the video if you do. And uh, check out the description section below. I've taken a lot of pictures of the car and uh, um, of the tests that were done, like uh, onboard diagnostics and uh, uh, battery, alternator quality, oil level, etc. So, uh, just a, a, a final comment this video stays uh, unshared with the public until a deal is made on the car. So, if you see this, in the public domain, either on Facebook, YouTube, or wherever. It's uh, because the uh, car had already been sold. Thank you for watching.